field goal and kick Notre Dame out of a national championship. And now to arms, to arms, the Wolverines are coming. Tonight, Boston College defends Beantown against powerful Michigan. Will history repeat in Chestnut Hill? And this gentleman right here, Lloyd Carr. They have interim by his name. However, most feel, or a lot of people feel anyway, that that will be removed shortly. He has done a truly outstanding job with the Wolverines of Michigan in taking over what was a very tough personal situation for him and his uh, close friend, Gary Mola. Splits the linebackers. The long. He's only a sophomore, left footer, and off the side of his foot. And it goes out of bounds, and that is extremely short. They're going to spot that out at the 20. Well, now they're moving a little bit. They're going to spot it out, Mike, at the 23-yard line. First and 10 for Boston College. The ball just inside the 13. Going to reverse it out. Looking for the end zone. Had a man there, and the ball is tipped and intercepted. It's King. Looks for a block, and he could go the distance. He'll score it. There is a flag back at the 30-yard line. When, when you see the replay on this play, Illegal block from the back, on the return, 10 yards, first half. Talk about a huge swing. They had a receiver open a timeout. The defense wanted to talk it over with their coaches. And you see the time on the clock, 11 minutes, 10 seconds. Left until the halftime, and the most important thing is nobody has scored. Look at this drive so far. They bring it wide. Walker, touchdown, Boston College. Teams, is that Boston College jumps out early and Michigan has to come from behind. A high pass from center. They're going to try to go for two and there are no receivers out there. Throws it back to the kicker. Then to the end zone. And this one didn't work in the third grade either. Ron, when you muff a snap like that, that was a bad snap to Matt Hasselback. You call fire. The seven has joined Diakabatuka in the backfield for Michigan. And he's used as a blocker on this play. Has five. Six and seven yards. And it's Kiernan Spate who's there to make the tackle. The Akapatuka breaks it big. And he will take it out to the 37-yard line as Rob just one play. Reisbach gonna go on top. Got his man there. Hey! First down inside the 15. Every time he catches a pass in practice, he sprints to the end zone with the ball. Mercury Hayes just on a streak route here. It had to be a busted coverage here. Number 49, Terrence Wiggins bought the fake, I believe, of Scott Drysback and came up inside, and Mercury Hayes made him pay. And so... And he got it. So we'll hold it right here with 3.35 until halftime. And the Wolverines are on the scoreboard. And it is a 6-3 ball game. Boston College on top. Archer sets deep. Throws this one. Intercepted. Clarence Thompson. And they're going to say out at the 44-yard line. Couple plays. Also, he is back there with Bianca Batuka. Right over the middle, two they're looking for one-handed stab by Reimers Mall. First and ten, Michigan at the 29-yard line. Well, I think everybody expected. Here comes the pressure from the outside with the blitz, with the pass from right there to Mercury Hayes. He steps out good for the first down. At the second and ten, Bianca Batuka. 
cuts it to the outside. At the 10, at the 5, touchdown Michigan. Scott Dreisbach's going to get the ball deep to Bianca Batuka. Now you see how he has the football. Now his vision to cut back. He's square to the line of scrimmage with the ball so deep to him. Amani Toomer, number 18, with a nice block downfield. He left some pretty good talent there. Rick Neuheisel's doing a very nice job, but Boyd Detmer gives him a chance to be really solid on offense, but their defense playing well also. Jason Horn with the sack. That's three times. Justice Smith gets whacked down hard. And let's see if Michigan calls a timeout to stop the clock with 15 seconds showing. Back in a single safety for Michigan. Coming up the middle, they got a piece of it. And it is taking a Michigan bounce and down by Boston College short of the 40-yard line. Sets, throws, just as you said. Toomer's got it, steps out of bounds at the 22-yard line. One second on the clock. We and the special teams comes up. The figure if you throw the... Hamilton's kick. Plenty of distance. He got it. So that's the end of the first half with our score. Michigan 13 and Boston College 6. Now let's say... Steps up, big over the middle, has it complete. Toomer at the 40-yard line. And you see him coming up taking it. Nope, they're going to come again. Gets his pass away quickly, right over the middle of Reimersmar. Really excited. It was fun to hear. Third down and one. The pitch to Bianca The flag comes down. He'll have the first down, plus six yards. And now let's see if they got BC for offside. Offside. On the defense. It looks like the same thing happened. Didn't, he doesn't like the play on fours that are iced. Deep over the middle, Toomer. Got him inside the 25, and let's check in with Mike Tirico. See those outside backers creeping up. Gets by, and he's got open field at the 15, and down to the 12, and that's going to be enough from the 19-yard line. Good already tonight on a couple, 25 and 39. Right in the middle of the field, and he splits it again. So with two minutes, 33 seconds left in the third quarter, our new score is Michigan 16 and Boston College 6. Tip and intercepted. Slip. Knocked out of bounds inside the five. Chuck Winters with the tip of Michigan tonight. Big zone coverage team, Michigan. They drop back in their zones. They read the eyes of Mark Hartzell. Tries to throw it through. Chuck Winters. And off and running is Rob Sweat. Well, he gets it again. Goes to the right side, and Ed Davis has himself a touchdown. Marinero with a paving block. And the Michigan Wolverines all of a sudden beginning to pull this one away. And let's check in with Mike Tirico. Mike, what do you got? Good protection. Gets it away. Todd Pollock, touchdown. Where they had adversity early, particularly in that first quarter. And they've done something with it. And it's Hasselback reverses out, throws the interception, and there is Chuck Winters. Still on his feet, breaks the tackle at the 10, 5, and he fumbled it into the end zone. They're going to say, say he was down at the 3. Let's see if Greasy goes down on one knee or if he does take it forward. Often he'll just go down on one knee, and that should be the final play of the ball game. So that's the end of the game with our final score. Michigan 23, Boston College 13. For Mike Godfrey, Mike Adamley, and our entire ESPN crew, this is Ron Franklin saying so long from Chestnut Hill.